Okay, it's story time. Everybody make space, twins. You guys be nice, make space for people. Okay, shh. Hey, what are you, you all doing? Oh, I, I'm just about to tell them a spooky story. Oh, okay. Well, nothing too spooky that's gonna make you have nightmares, Coco Buns. Okay, mama. Alrighty. So, do you guys want a super spooky story or just a spooky story? Okay, don't you all speak at once. Uh, what's, what's that, Ellie number one and Ellie number two? You scared. Oh, oh they're scared. Shall we? Okay, we'll keep it not so spooky. Okay, here we go. Once upon a time, there was a big spider. He was green. He had 25 legs. <laughs> we know most spiders only have eight, but he had 25 legs. And he went roaming through the town. And he would scare everybody. And they would be running like, ah, the spider's coming, the spider's coming. Then one day, there was this little girl. She said, I'm going to stand up to him. I'm not scared of a big spider. So she went outside. And she went face to face with him. And she came walking. And he came walking. And they went face to face. And she said, hey, you big green spider. I'm not scared of you. And then he stopped. And he just started crying. Crying and crying. And she said, wait, wait, wait. Why are you crying? Why are you crying? She had to hurry up and stop him. Because if not, he was going to flood the town. So then when he finally stopped crying, he said, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to harm anybody. I just been looking for my mommy and lost her about a week ago. And she said, oh, I apologize. Okay, I'll help you find her. So they went walking together, walking, walking. And during that time, they became the best of friends ever. And then they found her. And guess what? They said, boom! Why are you so loud? Uh, oh, I apologize. The story got intense. Well, it must have been good. Yep, uh, moral of the story, don't judge a book by its cover. Now, now, Coco, you know that's a no-no. Uh, um, Mama, what year was Ari born again? Um, well, Rhea was 2009, which means Ari was born in 2011. Why? Oh, um... No reason. I was just wondering. Ooh. Okay. Um, well, when you had Ari, were people still riding horses instead of cars? What? No. 2011 was not that long ago, girl. Mm. Uh, are, are you sure? I'm positive. So, were refrigerators out? Yep, they were. Microwaves? Yes. Video games? Yes. Airplanes? Yes. Shoes? Yes, yes, and yes. Coco, why are you being ridiculous? Well, Ari's school pictures came in, and I'm not really sure if you saw them, but none of that stuff could have existed that you said it did because clearly she was born in the 1900s, <coughs> way before the date that you said. Give me that! better leave my baby alone. Yep, I'm gonna leave her alone right with our ancestors in the 1900s. Ooh. Now, now, Coco, you know that's a no-no. Every time we turn our heads, you're always into trouble. With pretty big tails and a smile that makes us giggle. It's a merry, merry Christmas. A merry, merry <clears throat> Christmas. Merry, merry, merry Christmas. It's a, a merry, merry, merry Christmas. Mama, um... I know, I know, I know what I want for Christmas. Now, I wrote it on the list. Don't get it too soon. You have a few months to get it all together. Get your coins right, okay? Um, and have you done everything you were supposed to do before we even start talking about Christmas gifts? Um, uh, so, so when you say everything, you mean like what? Get all A's and B's, mostly A's. Check. Keep your room clean. Check. Be nice to your sisters. Oh. It's been hard, but check. Mm-hmm. I'll be the judge of all of that, but let me see this list. Oh, it, it's nothing.
nothing major, just a few things, but you don't have to get everything. But if you insist, you can. I wouldn't mind. Thank you. Okay, Christmas list. Teddy bear, new pencils, cookie monster, cheese, okay, Barbie. <laughs> yeah, I just kept it pretty simple for the most part. If you keep reading, just read the rest of it a little fast. Okay, um, game system, we'll see. The cell phone, oh, oh, the Lou phone 75, okay. Mm -hmm. Gift card, time machine, oh. mini Cooper car, puppy, brother, and the diamond earrings like daddy got you. <laughs> that, that wasn't asking for too much, was it? Because oh, I, I actually wanted to add one more thing, a dinosaur. Now, now, Coco, you know that's a no-no. You know, I'm really surprised they gave you an extra day off school. Yes, uh, Miss Bibble Daddle said that it's very important that we refocus our brains. You know, we're growing children. We need our rest. Hmm. That's interesting. I mean, I get that, but you all just had so many days off last month. You know how they do, Mama. I guess. So you want to play a game? Well, actually, I still have to work today because, you know, it is a normal work day for some of us. Oh, that sucks. Maybe you should call off. That's not going to happen, ma'am. Oh, okay then. Well, I guess I'll just play by myself. Tell you what. I will play with you when I get off of work. Deal? Deal. All right, see you in a sec. Hello? Hi. <laughs> uh, yeah, Coco's not in school today because the calendar says there is no school. Right. Well, I can assure you it says that. Right. Yeah, when she showed it to me from from a distance, it did. One second. Let me check. Let me see. Huh? Is this handwritten? I know this little girl did not write this in. Um... You know what? I am so sorry about this. I will handle this immediately and make sure it never happens again. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Have a great day, sir. Bye. Coco! Yes! Come here now! Come in. Yes, mama? What is this? A calendar. No. This. This. Who wrote this? Me. Why? Why would you do that? Uh, I, I really want to stay home with you. Mm, save it, Coco. You're grounded for a year. Uh, a year? But Jamie's party is next week. Oh, it is. I forgot. Well, guess what? You're not going. Oh, well. I guess these are the type of punishments you get for doing things like I did, huh? Yep. Okay, well, I guess I'll just go in my room now and I'll see Jamie in a year. Mm -hmm. And don't turn on the TV. Now, now, Coco, you know that's a no-no. You know how Vanessa beat up that kid? Yeah, but I thought they were fresh. Oh, no. excuse me. I, I have a question. Where have you guys been? You know where we've been. Only one of the top boarding schools in the world. The best. Well, thank God I'm Mama's favorite child and she knew that boarding school was not for me. It had nothing to do with you being a favorite. Let's not forget why you really couldn't come. Because I'm Mama's favorite? No. Now you know that's not why. When the lady came to give us our test, you acted a fool. There you are, sweetie. You ladies finish your test over there. Did, did, did you guys not see how she looked at me? Yeah, she smiled and passed through the paper. Of course that's all you saw. No, wrong. She wiggled her nose like this and then she winked at me and then- And then nothing, Coco. She had a nose itch. Miss Rose was so nice. Well, I say otherwise. <laughs> yeah, we know. You almost scared her away when you started acting like there were ghosts behind her back. Thanks to you, you almost ruined our chances of getting in too. Yeah, she did. Oh, well, I did see something, but I guess they were just her thick sideburns and they kind of look like ghosts. Yes, save it. 
But guess what? We're back home now. So you know what that means, right? Yep, that you guys need to catch up on your chores. Ari, you can clean the kitchen in my room, and Rhea, you clean the entire house. Chop chop! Now, now, Coco, you know that's a no no. If I had a pet, I named him Bro. He be so cute, make you wanna poop. If I had a pet, 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 pet. Okay, bro, we get it. You want a pet? How did you guess? I didn't even mention it. Um, yeah, you did. You're clearly singing a song that says you want a pet. Oh, oh, you guys heard me? I thought I was singing in my head. Nope, you're as loud as can be. <laughs> Leave her alone. Coco, what kind of pet do you want? Oh, well, I was thinking that we could play a guessing game so that you guys can guess exactly what Brute would be. Okay, go for it. Okay, here we go. Another Coco adventure. <laughs> okay, he's small. Ooh, a puppy. No, but he runs fast. Ooh, a cat. Nope, but he's easy to miss because of his size. Oh, I know, a hamster. Nope, but he's mighty and he's misunderstood by a lot of people. Ooh, ooh, a fish with big old teeth. No, all we think harder. He's little, brown, and he runs really fast. And some people are scared of him, but he's actually scared of us. And personally, I think he's cute and lovable. Okay, yeah. If it's not a dog, cat, or hamster, it's not coming in this house. Coco, things you think are cute are questionable. Uh, well, I think that you're cute. Is that questionable? Ooh. Stop it. Okay, Coco, please tell us what it is and I'll consider it. Well, he's low maintenance. What is it? They are pretty inexpensive. What is it? I think you guys will really, really like him. Coco, tell us what it is now or it won't even be considered. A cockroach. Like a roach. A what? Ew! Absolutely not. Please, he's so cute. He can sleep in my bed with me. No! Now, now, Coco, you know that's a no-no. Walking on the werewolf. Walking on the werewolf. Coco, have you seen my water bottle? I literally just had it right here. The werewolf. You sure? Am I sure? Yes, I was just drinking it. Oh, well, you know, I think you actually left it in the kitchen. I'm pretty sure I didn't. To the left. Your left. Or to the left, to the left. To the right, to the left. Which right? You know what? I'm going to go check the kitchen. Uh, okay, Mama, check the counter to the right at the top left, okay? I told you it wasn't in there, Coco. Not only that, that was the last water bottle. Ugh. Oh, that's tough. Coco, are you sure you haven't seen it? Why? Why must you play so much? Coco, give me my water bottle now. <laughs> uh, I guess it's a miracle. <laughs> Get your drink on. Get your drink on. Now, now, Coco, you know that's a no-no. Uh, Ari, could you read me a book? Yeah, sure. Take a seat. Oh, yay. Oh, I love when you tell me stories. Thank you, Ari. Don't be cute. <laughs> the title of this one is City Shapes. That's one of my favorites. A pigeon takes flight through the bright cityscape, exploring the scenery shape after shape. So the pigeon man, the, the boy, he went through different cities, dropping different shapes on people's heads. Let me finish. The city is bursting with shapes of each kind, and if you look closely, who knows what you'll find. Oh, I know. So so what you're saying is that the shapes just exploded in the thin air, and they hit. Hi, Mama. What are you ladies up to? I'm not. They're always just reading me a story. <laughs> No, you can join. Just sit right back there, but shh. Oh, okay. Shh. Okay, okay, go ahead. 
a truck rumbling by to deliver the mail, a silvery cart with hot pretzels for sale. So, so what you're saying is... Coco, I'm not going to keep on reading if you keep on interrupting me. Okay, shh, shh, shh. Okay, go, go, go. We saw we saw we. She saw we. And stacks of brown packages hauled... The brown packages? I thought they was going to be purple. Mm -hmm. Okay, Coco, stop interrupting her and let her finish the book. I want to see what happens next. Okay. So some shapes in the city are... Well, actually, I'll take that. Thank you so much for weaving to us. Next time, put a little bit more off in it because you were a little dry. Now, now, Coco, you know that's a no-no. All I want for Christmas is a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. Coco, why aren't you getting dressed? Uh, getting dressed for what, Mama? Your friend's princess party? Oh, that is today. Okay, I'll start getting dressed. It's gonna be so cute. You and all your little friends dressed like princesses. Oh, and I'll do your hair as soon as you put your dress on. Uh, no need to, Mama. What do you mean? Coco, your hair needs to be done. Don't worry, I got this. I'm gonna be a different kind of princess. Okay. I'm gonna look so cute. Ready, Mama? You're supposed to be dressed like a princess, not a puppy. We don't have time for this. We have to go. Uh, I am. That's that's my pup's name. <sighs> Coco, you will not go there dressed like a dog. A puppy. It's a princess party. And I'm dressed like princess. No, you're dressed like a puppy. Yeah, a cute one. And they should have been more specific if they wanted a specific type of princess. <gasps> Goodness, come on, we have to go. I cannot believe you are going to the Here, here I come, Mama. Now, now, Coco, you know that's a no no. Coco, tell me what happened now. Um, what happened to what? <laughs> this. Tell me what happened to my stove knob and why. Oh, uh, it, it's broke, huh? <laughs> Is it broken? Uh, yeah, it's broken. Start talking. Oh, okay, Mama, what you want to talk about? You know, the boards have really been chopping a lot. Zip it and wipe that smile off your face. Mm. You have three seconds to start explaining how this happened. I was holding something and, and, I, I, and, and it just boom. And, oh, and I'm so happy I got that off my chest. <laughs> You got nothing off your chest, Coco, at all. You literally put no words together that made sense. Oh, oh well, somehow my hands got a hold of it and I got so excited that I didn't even realize that I broke it off the stove. Well, the right thing you should have done was come to me when it happened. So you know what that means, right? Yes, that, that we talked it out and put it behind us. <laughs> no, that you're grounded for a week. Oh. Just feed me to the wolves, why don't you? Now, now, Coco, you know that's a no-no. Mama, you want to hear a riddle? Sure, as long as it's not one you made up and it makes sense. <laughs> they all make sense, Mama. You just don't know how to solve them. But no, this is a real one that I did not make up. Okay, let me hear it. Okay, here's the first one. What is yours but mostly used by others? Oh, my food that you and your sisters eat all of. <laughs> nice try. Nope, your name. Oh, I get it. I get it, I get it. Because my name is mine, but everyone else uses it more because they call me by my name. <laughs> yep, okay, next one. I grow down as I grow up. What am I? Um, a frown or a thumb? I don't know. I don't know. Tell me. Goose feathers. They're called down. Oh, that is funny. And I actually did know that. And that's a good way to remember. Okay, last one. I'm light as a feather, yet the strongest person can't hold me for five minutes. What am I? Um, that's a good one. Let me see. Okay. Maybe it's wind? Uh-uh. Oh. Uh... 
I don't know. You give up? <laughs> Your breath. See, look. <laughs> See, he came out. Now, now, Coco. You know that's a no no. How can we help you? Are you okay? Coco! Huh? Y you didn't hear us talking? Uh, no, I, I kind of did, but I was distracted. By what? Oh, nothing. I'd rather not say. Well, okay then. So anyway, you remember the TikTok when they did that, um, the, the... Oh, oh, you're talking about the vomit! Yes! Oh, they, they, like, kind of uh, fell Actually, I think I will say what I was going to say. What is it, Coco? Because I'm really trying to get this tea out what she's saying. Okay, well, never mind. I'll just wait. No, nah, because you're not going to interrupt us again. What is it? Uh, well, ever since you both have been back, um, Rhea, your head has grown substantially large. <laughs> And Ari, your feet smell just as bad as before. Actually, a little bit more. One, two, three. <laughs>